Audio and sound effects in this video were created using audio.com. Use the link in the description to get 10% off. Hello everyone, so let's talk about this beauty here. This is the Minolta Hymatic AF2. This camera is from 1981 and it actually has autofocus. However, it also has manual film advance and rewind. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. The autofocus and the exposure are taken care by the camera and you still advance the film and rewind it at the end. Now let's take a look at the hardware. All right, so here is the camera. And as you can see, this is a pretty slick little camera. So let's go through the hardware. Right here, you've got the lens, obviously. It is a 38 millimeter 2.8 lens, which is pretty nice. Right here in front, you can change the ISO. So it starts off with 25, and then you can go up to 50, 100, 200, and 400. 400 is the max ISO on this one. Here you have the um, self timer. So you just crank it down, push the shutter button and off you go. I don't recommend using these. They are prone to fail. Uh, the, the analog ones I wouldn't use. So now we've got the flash here. You go inside, boom, pops up. If you don't need it, push it down. Uh, on the side here, you've got just this guy here. Same on uh, this side here, uh, on the back here. Now there are actually a lot of useful information. First of all, here you have the flashlight. So if we pop it up, eventually this will light up telling you when the, yeah, there you go. The flash is now ready to be used. So there's that. Um, over here, um, when you have film inside, and we'll take a look at that in a second, there's actually a line that goes through telling you how much is left of the film or how much you've used, which is pretty cool. Now, this is actually very, very useful. So what happens? Um, the camera will give you two different beeps depending on what's going on. If you get three beeps in a row, it means you're out of focus or the flash range. If you get a constant beep, it means it's low light, use the flash. Now that is very useful. You know right away, okay, look, I need to flash. It's going to be underexposed. So there's that. Down here, we've got batteries. This one takes regular double A's. So there's two of them. Pop it in there. That's it. And then here you've got the uh, release um, button. So film release. So I'll demonstrate in that in a second. When you are done shooting, you push this button and then you can rewind the film. And then at the top here, you've got the, um, the crank here. You've got the shutter button and then the rewind crank. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And the film counter right here. So pretty self-explanatory. Now let's load up some film. To load up film, you got to go open it up. There you go. Take your film. Put it down. There you go. And then just... Go right inside here. There you go. And now the cool thing is, so first of all, let's do this once. Okay, seems fine. We're gonna close it. I'm just gonna rewind this a little bit just so it tightens up. Okay, that's tight. Now the cool thing is, now we're on S and the camera actually forces you to go three times. So if you go once, right, you still can't shoot. You go twice, three times. Now you can shoot. Now you're ready to go. It's on one. So it forces you to actually rewind the film three times. So there's that. Now you are ready to go. You hear the beep. So you got three beeps. beeps. It's out of focus because I'm not pointing at anything. Okay, so now it's not out of focus, but it's telling us it's low light. So let's turn on the flash. Let's wait. Okay, now it's on and boom, there you go. Here is that line. So telling us where we are right now, it's at the beginning. And then as you keep going, it's gonna go all the way there. There you go. There's that, just keep shooting. Keep shooting and let's say we're done now 
you want to rewind, push this button, and now you can rewind. Okay, you can feel it's done. Open, and bam, there we go. Now let's take a look at photos taken with this camera. Grading and film emulation in this video was done using Dehancer Pro. Use promo code FILMMAKING today and get 10% off any of their software. See link in the description.